What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Adventure Quest news video. Oh, oh my god, we have so much news today that uh, this video is probably going to be long, so buckle in, grab some popcorn, and let's get right into the news. <laughs> Okay, so if you didn't know, last week they released all the navels for this year, or not actually all of them. Uh, they released two out of the three navels that will be available this year, and tomorrow, Friday, September the 23rd, boom, we're getting a Cursed Legion naval. You probably already know about this, so I'll just go over this quickly. We have a bunch more news to go over. Uh, so you get this by buying the, um, by, wait, what? You get this by buying this navel, right? This one right here. I think I thought that one was called Curse. Okay, so you get the Curse Legion. Okay, the Legion is the word that differs the two. Uh, so you get the Curse Legion, this one. Uh, you have to buy this for 1,100 ACs in the shop right here. I know someone's gonna ask in the comments. Uh, people ask in the stream. You gotta buy it in the shop. Wait, why isn't? Where's the shop? Where's the shop? Where is the shop? Okay, Quibble shop right there. So you buy the armor, this armor right here. So you need to buy this armor, this exact armor right here. And that will, if you have Legion tokens, you have to be a member of the Legion. There's uh, a lot of instructions here if you if you haven't joined the Legion yet. So a uh, bunch of instructions here. So like you gotta log in, travel to the underworld, uh, buy the armor, the undead warrior armor, and then complete the quest until you're done. Uh, fail to the king you have to complete the quest up to that and then you can start farming legion tokens and then you can earn enough legion tokens to get all these different armors right here you get the armor the helmet the swords all this stuff will be available for legion tokens if you have the armor that i'm showing you right here this armor if you have that armor <coughs> excuse me jesus ah okay so that is the first little piece of news let's move on to the next piece of news all right, so along with that armor coming out tomorrow, which is uh, that's probably that's what I'm most excited for tomorrow. We're having a paladin versus undead event. Uh, I have an armor later on in this news episode that I'm going to show that will be coming out for this event that looks very nice. But not a lot you can say. It's paladins versus undeads. We've had uh, events like this before uh, that you can see the queen of uh, monsters or whatever her name is in the background. I don't think a lot of people saw that. Maybe not because she kind of blends in, but. So it's got to do something with the Queen of Monsters or whatever her name is. And uh, yeah, that's about all I have to say about that. Just, uh, that's the update for tomorrow, along with the also this armor and gear, which will come out tomorrow. So that is that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. A seasonal event. I love my seasonal events. We got Malgoween, which if you don't, last last year uh, I may or may not have posted uh, 12 videos in one day on Malgoween. Uh, today, it was only 12 videos in one day, okay, guys? Don't, don't worry about it. Um, won't be doing that this year. Maybe two at the most. But uh, there's a class you can get, the Great Pumpkin class. Uh, it's actually, I think it's a drop class from this boss right here. I'll do a video on it when it comes out, guys. Don't worry about it. It's, stay subscribed here, and you'll see a video. Uh, this is in October, of course. This is when this is coming out. This isn't next week or anything like that. Uh, so a bunch of news on that. The new event right here is, uh, uh, featuring Sora and Hos Hoshi? Hoshi? Not like Yoshi, but Hoshi. Uh, so that's, there's a picture from that. It looks pretty neat. There's a balloon in there. Uh, should be fun. Um, it says screenshot. Well, that was last year's event right there. Uh, the Necro Knot was the last year's event. So I, I guess you'll be able to play that again. Uh, but there'll be 2016 seasonal rare items too. So that'd be nice. Uh, that is Malgoween. Also, okay, I, I know a lot of people are excited for this. And so am I. The Upholder, the 8th Upholder. Finish Quest is already 8 years old. Well, it will be in October. But... If you get the Upholder, which means you have a member that runs through October and does not end before the November 1st. So it has, so your membership has to be active until at least November 1st. Sadly, my current membership ends on the 29th of October. Like, what, what kind of luck is that, right? Uh, so I'll have to buy another one month or three months or something like that to be able to get Upholder, sadly. Uh... But uh, some part of the devs are also getting some rare star swords, uh, the cursed 
Star Sword and the Solar Star Sword are the rares for this year, along with if you haven't got the Sentinel class already, you can get it. Uh, it's not a rare class, it comes out every year. Uh, infinite bragging rights. It also comes with the character page badge uh, right there is the art for it right there. Kind of small on screen. Uh, but they explain what an upholder is. Uh, and there's also a bunch of other stuff here. So we'll go over this really quick. Uh, on Friday, September 30th, the Eight Upholder begins. Uh, also in September, uh, the October upgrade bonus gear, Shadow Fang Sorcery. I will show you that in a second. I actually have an image of that. Um, Malkoween returns on September 30th. So on September 30th, we're getting the Eight Upholder and Malkoween on the same day. On October the 4th, uh, taco day. Uh, if you don't know, you can get the taco armor. Looks really cool. On Friday, the October the 7th, uh, we have Throne of Darkness Saga Finale, Part 1. And then on the 14th, that's a week later, the next Friday after that, Part 2 of the finale. So we're doing a Harry Potter finale sort of thing here. And that will finish the Throne of Darkness finally. Uh, the Darkest Invasion, uh, Bridge of Monsters, that will be on the t October the 21st. Hey, that's one day after my birthday, uh, Throne of Darkness Part 2, nice. Uh, the Darkest Invasion, that will be the 21st. And the 28th is Mogaween 2016, J6 Knows Your Nightmares. Very, very interesting. Um, so we have a packed month full of a spooky, scary skeleton. Here's the armor I talked about earlier, the one that is coming out tomorrow. At least I think it's, yeah, it's just Friday, so yeah, definitely coming out tomorrow. It looks very nice. Lakin made it. Lakin's a very talented artist, and that armor looks really nice. I'm not really into the plate armor in AQ that much, but some people are, and I think it's a very nice-looking plate armor. Now, we have the confirmed upgrade package for October. Not so sneak peek at next month. Upgrade package. Arnix made it. A very nice looking I like the hood uh, that's probably then the armor is okay actually honestly just the the shoulder pads a little uh, sometimes I put shoulders on armors it just kind of ruins them and I think that's that's my thoughts on this one uh, other than that it looks really nice I'll definitely get it and definitely have that cool ass hood all right, so if you're wondering what happened last week with all the servers, uh, there was a server rewrite test. Basically, there was double XP and all that stuff. I'm pr pretty sure I put that in one of the news videos on all that uh, servers. So they reverted them back to normal. Uh, if you haven't noticed, you can now go and play on servers. Uh, change server here. So these are normal servers again. I guess some people didn't get the note because there's still a lot of people playing on Galanoth. But these are normal servers again. Uh, and then the, you can still go back on to the testing servers and I think you can still get your mission sprockets uh, Some of the comments can correct me on that if I'm wrong But I'm pretty sure you can still get the mission sprockets for the free bank pet that will be out I get asked uh, that's probably the question I get most often is when's the free bank pet coming out So I'll address that real quick if you're watching this and you're wondering it comes out when the server rewrites I'll make a video when it comes out so you just stay stay subscribed to the channel and uh You'll definitely get to see, I'll upload a video when the pet comes out and show you where to get it and how to get it and all that stuff. Once it comes out, just make sure you get the 150 mission sprockets before it does. So there's a bunch of information here. The enhancement fixes, uh, they were bugging out a lot. I know they were because you couldn't even enhance items on the testing servers. Because uh, I was playing around on them. Uh, they're very broken, the testing servers. But I think they, they confirmed that we're doing another testing weekend in the future. Uh, and that should be good. Along with this, um, this has to tie in a little bit with the rewrite, right? Uh, what type of inventory space do you want to see more of regular item? Yeah, different types of inventory. So maybe after the rewrite phase, maybe in phase two of the server rewrite, which uh, if you don't know, phase one is basically to fix the bugs. Phase two is to add the features. Uh, so maybe when they're adding more features, they'll add more bank of space or more inventory slots, more house slots, all that stuff. Maybe they'll add all of that because they'll be upgrading the servers. So maybe they can handle more inventory space and stuff like that, which would be insane. And I'm sure a lot of people have been waiting a long time to have a bigger inventory. So that is all I have for this video. Actually, that's not all I have. I just thought, uh, I just remembered. I have a video of the animation for uh, the Evolved Legion Pain Saw. Uh, this happened when I was recording a video yesterday. It's just a clip from like a video like I thought I was gonna be recording a video for yesterday So I'll put the clip at the end here um, 
just to show you the evolved paint slot if you want to see it. This is the normal paint slot on my character right now. Uh, and currently there's a glitch on the server if you log in and log out and like swap to your paint slot and swap off your paint slot. If you keep swapping servers and like swapping uh, your paint slot on and off, eventually it'll turn into the evolved paint slot for some reason. So if you want to get the evolved paint slot, get a screenshot with it, brag to your friends or whatever, you can do that if you just like hop servers. It's kind of weird, like it's kind of random when it happens. But I got to happen yesterday. And I actually recorded like the whole video yesterday with it on. Uh, the paint slot will disappear, of course, and return to its normal version if you log out of the server after you get it. But you can like transfer rooms and like teleport around with it, which is kind of cool. So I'll leave a clip of me uh, seeing the paint slot for the first time, or the evolved paint slot in game for the first time uh, right after this. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. Uh, leave a dislike if you did not. Uh, this is, that's what the rating system is for. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Comment down below your thoughts on all this news. Are you going to be getting the 8th Upholder badge? And are you excited for those cool ass Star Swords and the Legion uh, Naval that's coming out tomorrow? I can't wait to get that. I'm going to be doing a stream farmer for it. It's going to be good. Let's uh, end the video there. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Now, uh, you may or may not have noticed something in the intro. Uh, what? What is this? This is the Evolve Pain Saw. Uh, we have the normal Pain Saw in game. Uh, the one I have in my inventory. If you equip it, it does not equip to this weapon. I've already tried that. But here you can see the animation, the cool, creepy arm animation, and the uh lightning animation whatever it is on the blade this blade isn't out yet you can't get this blade anywhere but for some reason a lot of people and this is the first time it's happened to me have got this blade on their thing but that's not what this video is about i just thought i'd show it in this video because i've never seen an actual video of this before or i've never seen a video of the animation and i'm sure someone wanted to see that i'll probably include this little part in another video uh, maybe a news video or something like that in the future but it looks pretty crazy and if I equip it what no way it equipped holy shit what the fuck what if I get a character page can I get a character page from it no I can't get a character page from it holy crap okay wow that looks insane. It's on my character. Oh, let's get a screenshot. Oh, what the f troll? Okay. Print screen. Yes. Okay, I got it. All right. So, this video isn't about this, it's about the drops in Talk Like a Pirate Day, so let's get into the first drop. Click the video in the top right corner if you haven't seen it yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.